Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Gold Rush. All right, let's go talk to this guard. The lazy guard takes one look at you and says, "You look as green as grass, stranger. I imagine you just pulled into the fort, into the port, into the into the fort. Let me give you a few pointers. You're welcome to take a tour. Excuse me, of the fort, but there are only a few folks still around, hanging around here. Excuse me." Most folks have most folks have gone to the hills to look for gold. They hurried off and left their belongings unattended, but you ain't gonna find nothing useful. Seems like the only things of any use these days is a gold pan, a shovel, a lantern, and a trusty mule. Hint hint, those are the things you need to buy. Let's go talk to this guy, he's the only person that we see around here. Hang on there, fella. I'll be right with you. Can't you see, man, that I'm as busy as a one-armed paper hanger with an itch? If you'd excuse me, I'd best be getting back to my work. Hold on there, son. You ain't from the parts around, say, New York, would you be? Uh, yes, actually I am. You wouldn't be from Brooklyn, would you? Why, yes, I am from Br Brooklyn. Your last name ain't by, uh, chance, uh, uh, darn it, uh, uh, and your last name, Wilson. Yeah, that's it. And, uh, your first name wouldn't be, uh, shoot, uh, uh, Jared. That's it. And, uh, you got a brother named, uh, uh, Dag, burn it. Uh, why, that would be Jake. Well, I'll be. I can't believe it. Lean over here, uh, uh, young fella, and listen to me close. I can't be talking too loud about this kind of thing. I got a message for you from your brother. I ain't got no notion of his whereabouts. All I got is a message. He wants you to know that in these parts, he's known as, uh... Uh... He's known as, uh... Uh... James! That's it! James! I won't tell nobody of his whereabouts, but you gave me, but he gave me this to give to you. Ain't got no idea what it's for, and he wanted me to give it to you, but he wanted me to give it to you. The soot-covered blacksmith hands you a branding iron. Ooh. Now you know you're on the right track. Well, now you know you're on the right trail to find your brother. He must be on to something big, really big. Okay, cool. So I've got a branding iron now. Let's look at the branding iron. Branding irons are irons are a fairly common article around the area, but this is a rare brand indeed. Looks like a horseshoe and a key. Let's look in this room. The gunsmith's shop is an exciting but unnecessary stop on your tour of the fort. You don't need anything here. But but guns! I I, I could hunt bear. This is a fort's candle shop. You don't need anything here. These are the living, living quarters of John Augustus Sutter. You don't need anything here. But but I want to loot his room. He, he, has, he has room to loot. This is a bunk room for the hired hands. They've gone and taken everything with them. You don't need anything here. I wonder if they're all going to say pretty much the same thing. Nope, this is different. This is the hat and boot shop of the fort. You've got a hat, you've got boots. You don't need anything here. Oh, look, I'm nice and yellow. This is an empty entryway. You don't need anything here. Then why let me come in? Everything's made here in the wood. Sh everything made here in the wood shop is made with lumber from Sutter's own sawmill in Coloma. You don't need anything here. Now let's go talk to this guy. 
I'm the man that watches over all these fine mules, says the man. You know you're in the middle of the corral area because of the aroma. These are nice looking mules. Can I go anywhere around here? I can go somewhere back here, but um, from here all you can see is the jail. Oh. Okay. Do 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 do. Wandering around Sutter's Fort. Okay, one of the interesting things about Sutter's Fort is that uh, um, the perspective changes around, so that basically stuff is always on the north side of the uh, map, or the screen. This is the most fermented place in the fort. This is the brewery. You don't need anything here. But what if I want something there? I want booze. This is a fort kitchen. Nothing's on the stove. You don't need anything here. I could use some food. This is the fort's shoe shop. The boots on your feet are all you need. I can apparently walk over that uh, box there. Oops. Let's see what's here. This is a room where supplies such as gunpowder, shot, and wine are stored. I could use all of those, come on. This is the administration headquarters of Sutter's Fort. Things must be running smoothly because the office has been left unattended. You don't need anything here. Arr. Okay. Well, we're back here. Let's see, what do we find over here? Can we go in here? This is just an empty room. The guards watch the gate from here when it's raining. So that's the exact same as on the other side. Well, there's stuff over here. This is a fort granary. Seems logical folks would store their grain here. Yeah, it makes sense. This here is the Cooper's workshop. Casks, barrels, and other items are repaired here. You don't need anything here. But what if I want things? This is the lumber room. The wood here is cut at the sawmill in the town of Coloma. You don't need anything here. You keep telling me that game. Somehow I don't believe you. This room is filled with bunks. Many weary workers have slept here. You don't need anything here. This is a cabinet shop. Cabinets are of every size and shape are made here. You don't need anything here. Oh, I could definitely use a cabinet. Come on. This is the entryway to the weaving room. Okay, yeah, I'll agree that I don't need anything there. This is the fort's bakery. I could use some bread. Bread is always good. There's a wooden sign hanging on the wall. Okay, read sign. Trading store. Well, I'll be... Oh. Talk man. Oops. Talk man. And a clerk grins and says, I can tell by the way you talk, you're new to these parts. What can I do for you? Oh, I think I can uh, buy stuff. Um. Well, I want to buy a pan. Clerk looks at the shelves and says, There are a few pans left, but I'm not giving them away. You're gonna have to give me some gold in one form or another if you want to take anything out of this store. Um, okay, well, let's see. What do we have? 
I got the flake, I've got the coin, uh, I've got the gold disc. Give flake. The clerk chuckles and says, I see you're fresh on the frontier. A gold flake like that will get you nothing. Perhaps you have something else. Well, I've got a nice, shiny, uncirculated coin. The clerk says, okay, I'll take that gold coin and here's your gold pan. I wish you the best of luck. Seriously? That's it? A whole gold coin for a pan. I said, look, rock. I ain't see nothing unusual. There are two doors in sight. Your, your keen eye detects a sign on one of the doors and a, and a hitching post. Now oh, that must be the hitching post there. Oops. Let's look around here. This is the Fort's administration office. The office is empty. Wait, there's two administration offices? Weird. Whee! Yeah, let's go outside the fort. There's some graves here. You're standing in the cemetery of New Helvetia, Sutter's Fort. This ain't a very lively place, but it may be interesting. Yeah, it may be. Let's read this grave. Josiah Daly, 1847, died in infancy. Oops. I keep hitting F2 rather than F3. Unknown, 1844. J.S. Jarn, born November 27th, 1806, died August 31st, 1848. Katya M. Brosinski, departed this life on May 19th, 1846, aged 53 years and 21 days. Here lies a man whose crown was won by blowing in an empty gun. <laughs> William Abel died June 19th, 1847, aged 24 years. Yeah, Darwin Award winner there. Mary Elizabeth Hanforth, an infant daughter, died 1848, God knows why. Mm, yeah, you could say that. Ezekiel Smith, a millwright by trade, 1819-1845. This is what I expected, but not so soon. To be buried in a grave at Sutter's Fort? Uh-uh. Jose Sanchez, born 1792, died 1846. Oops. This wasn't quite the one that I wanted to go to, but okay. Psalm 23, William Marshall. Oh, that's right. I am supposed to do something. Well, as long as we're here at this, uh, um, uh, gravestone. We'll uh, read it and take care of it in the next episode. See you then.